what's up everybody it's your girl mariah perry and i'm back again with another moving vlog this is moving vlog number five if you guys are new to my channel make sure you guys check out moving vlogs number one two three and four and then come back to this one over here so you guys do not miss out on what i have done and what is coming next also don't forget to hit that subscribe button maybe like a day or two ago i impulsively purchased bar stools and my bed frame. Since I moved in on October 6th, today is December 29th, my mattress has been sitting on top of my box spring. I kid you not. And the only chairs that are in my living room is, is my desk chair and my couch. But my bar has been looking a little empty. My bar has been empty and I wanted to change that. So I purchased two black bar stools to go here everything was delivered today fedex dropped it off but i ordered it from amazon and i ended up giving the delivery guy a tip because he brought this up to the top floor by himself and i'm just thankful and glad that he did that because some of these delivery drivers Let's talk about it. They do not always bring your stuff to the top floor or whatever floor you live at. For example, my TV stand and my TV, I had to carry that up. But anyway, we're not here going on a rant. I'm about to build these bar stools on camera so you guys can see that. Not sure if I'm gonna vlog myself putting the bed together because I'm not sure I'm gonna do it right now, but we'll just see where we go. So two bar stools should be in this box. Not sure if they are, but they should be. They're in here. All right, let's get this party started. Based off of what it looks like on the inside, it should not take me long to build. Hopefully I'm not jinxing myself, but it looks pretty simple. There's that. Y'all don't mind my kitchen. I, I mean, it's not dirty, but it's not aesthetically pleasing right now either. I would have put my dishes up, but I just did not feel like it. So this is where we're at right now. And it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Based off the amount of screws, this should not take long at all. I know I already said that, but this just confirms it a little bit. I'll let you guys know if something changes. Let me put some socks on so y'all not looking at my crusty toes. I do not feel like reading these instructions. If you guys are interested in anything you guys see me purchase for my apartment, just check the description box below and I'll have it linked down there. All right. Four easy steps. Let's get it. We can ride in the Middle East. We can go swim to the city on me. We can ride in the Middle East. Go swim with the goldies. Oh no, I got it like that. You gon' need some water like that. No cap, y'all. I'm starving. I have to take a quick break to eat some lunch because I have not ate since breakfast, and I do not want to get light headed because I know how I get. I guess I'll tell y'all what I'm eating for lunch. I have some white rice, some ground turkey, and some shrimp. I started my little health fitness journey last Thursday. Today's Thursday, so seven days ago, and this is what I'm eating for lunch. I'm practicing, I'm practicing, I'm trying to not overeat, eat smaller portions, and eat healthier, so that's the fun fact of the day. But as soon as I'm done eating, we'll get back to building these stools. If you're not following me on TikTok, go ahead and go over there because I'm making a TikTok as well. Ooh, my knees. What if they party like that? You're gonna need somebody like that. We can ride in the Italy. We can go swat to the city on me. We can ride in the Italy. I have 
one more bar still left. Here's what the bar stools are looking like in the kitchen. I think they look nice and I'm excited to have more than one guest in my living room because there's more seating. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. These two bar stools are linked in the description box down below and I purchased them both from Amazon. They came in a set of two. I'm extremely sweaty now, but now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and unbox my bed frame. Don't know how I feel about building it today, but I do want to get these boxes out of here and I'll just have the parts of the bed sitting in my bedroom. So when I am ready to build it, it's already unboxed. So I'm honestly feeling a little tired, but I just want to get this out the box, honestly. And then after that, I can enjoy the rest of my evening. All right, let's see what's in here. So here's the headboard. I did not mean to do that. Low key kind of heavy, not gonna lie. I think they have different parts in the back of the headboard. Let me get this in my room. Y'all can't even see me. I got the bed frame in there. Let me turn the fan. Um, right now. Did I mess this up? Okay, good. I was just making sure that I didn't mess up the fabric because I was dragging it across the floor. Probably should have kept it in the box, but. So this time we're going to unbox it in the room so we're not dragging stuff across the floor. Ugh. And then once I'm done with it, and then once I'm done with this, I have to make sure that I have all the um, parts to put it together before I throw these boxes out. So make sure that y'all check inside of your boxes if you're doing what I'm doing. I probably should keep these boxes though, just in case. Oh, I just hate clutter. I'm gonna keep this box for now. And I'm gonna double check the headboard box to make sure there's no nails or any screws or anything in there and I'm gonna throw that one away. Good morning y'all. It is New Year's Eve around 9.20 in the morning. I just woke up, I brushed my teeth, washed my face and I'm ready to finally build my bed. I was gonna do it yesterday, what was yesterday? Friday, so I showed you guys the bed frame on Thursday, the same day that I got my bar stools. I just was not up for building the bed frame like, but now it has to be done because I want to go into the new year with a new bed frame. Let's get it. So as y'all know, I have been sleeping on my mattress, which is on top of my box spring. Both of these items were purchased from Amazon. And here is my lovely bed frame that we are getting ready to build. I am not looking forward to it. Hopefully we have all the tools that we need to build it. Here's what it looks like. Got light beige. I hope this doesn't take long. Hmm. Okay, so it comes with an Allen key. So it's looking like all I need is the Allen key. And everything is in the back of the headboard. So all the tools are behind that. Y'all, that headboard is heavy. It is hot in here already. First things first, we need to move the mattress, this heavy behind mattress, to the other side. 
of the room. So that way I can start building the bed frame in the center of the bedroom. It's like I probably should vacuum before I start building. But I honestly don't feel like it and I just don't care enough to do so. So I'm going to get the pieces out and organize and then we'll go from there. So here's where I'm at. I found that when building furniture, <laughs> y'all, one thing about me, I'm going to read the instructions. What makes it easy for me is when I lay all like items together. I have everything in front of me so I can see what I'm working with, what I have, what I don't have. Um, and it just makes the building process much easier. But that's basically what I did here. I need some water because I'm thirsty. I am going to time myself to see how long this <coughs> takes. So with everything out of the box, it is currently 9.38 a.m. Let me show you guys. You got my Brita. I haven't done bottles of water in so long because who's bringing bottles of water to the top floor? Not me. I wish I got a bigger Brita. This one I have to fill up too much, but it gets the job done. It was like $25 from Target. I'm trying to wait for my phone battery to charge a little bit because I also want to get content for my TikTok. If you guys aren't following me on TikTok, go ahead and follow me on TikTok. I'm on there way more these days. I'm going to let that charge so I can set my phone up on the tripod and then we'll go ahead and get started. So maybe I should... Should I eat breakfast now while my phone charges? So I won't accumulate a headache in the process of building? I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so scratch that time. I'll show you guys a new time once I'm done eating breakfast. I can't remember if I told you guys, but we need to go to either Home Goods or Ross um, to get some sheets because for my new bed, I want to put on my new bed set but this does not come with any sheets it comes with comforters and two pillowcases so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out so it can deflate so once I'm done building my bed the sheets are ready to go the details of this is so cute like you guys can't really tell right now but they have these cute little balls it's giving like boho during our little building furniture intermission I want to show you guys what I'm eating for breakfast I have started my health thing. I officially started working out on December 22nd. I worked out on the 23rd. I don't do weekends. I worked out on the 26th, 27th, 28th, and the 29th. So today is Saturday. I didn't work out yesterday, but you guys know I've been getting in the gym, okay? I started burn boot camp in my area, and I really do like the burn community group fitness it motivates me but anyway back to what i'm eating when i went to the grocery store they ran out of eggs so i'm not eating eggs this morning but i have these all natural turkey breakfast sausage links and the serving size is three links and that's only 110 calories with 10 grams of protein so i'm eating three links of these so those are going. And then I also have a waffle. I'm doing a Kodiak Thick and Fluffy Power Waffles. This is the buttermilk and vanilla flavor. And this is also 10 grams of protein. And for one waffle, and for one waffle, it's 240 calories. I've been trying to eat healthier and not overeating because I'm an overeater. Even though I'm full, I'll continue eating, and that's just not good. I've noticed I've been gaining weight. I'm the heaviest I've been in my entire life, and I'm trying to lose weight before my birthday in March. So we'll see where this takes me. Eating healthy, living alone is so much easier because you don't have temptation like other people in your, you know, environment eating what they eat, and you're trying to eat healthy. So, but you can still do it if you do. But that's just a little bit of update on my life before we start building this bed frame. I have my tripod set up so I can film TikToks. The phone is charged and time check. It is 10 15 AM. Let's see how long it takes, but you guys need to also take into consideration that I'm also filming for YouTube and my TikTok. That may take some time, but I'll try to give you guys a rough estimate of how long it should take without filming. Call it.
you talk to the girl. I'll share my world. Putting the bed together. The time is now 12.56 p.m. I took a break, not gonna lie. And I probably took like two, three breaks. Each was like 20 minutes. So y'all do the math of when I started. The only thing that I did not do, y'all know is always something. These are the parts that I have left. And I don't have a drill to drill these in to nail the slats down but i think i should be fine without them being nailed down for now if someone in my family decides that they want to come and stabilize the slats so be it but i think i'll be fine without them for now i'm gonna go ahead and put down the box spring in my mattress and i should be good i look like um my uncle Ray. Oh, yeah. Nice full body. These shoes are cute. I'm looking for some sheets. Wait, do you feel like being on camera? There goes Gabrielle. Basically, my aunt got me some sheets. I think I showed you guys. No, she got me a comforter set without the sheets. So, I'm looking for some sheets that I can put on the bed so we can do a bed reveal. $39.99. Kate Spade. Where's the deals? All right, y'all, so I'm leaving TJ Maxx. I'm trying to find a nice set of sheets that'll fit my bed. Sorry, y'all hear Gabrielle in the background, but I'm trying to find a nice set of sheets that will fit my bed in the color that I want, and sheets are not, I mean, they're affordable, but come on, for a nice quality thing of sheets, like, you're gonna be spending a good amount of money, like $25, $30, so I'm trying to make sure that I get what I want they don't have what I want, so now I'm about to go to Ross. And if they don't have it at Ross, and I do not know what to do. I made it back home, and I'm about to put this in the air fryer because I'm starving. I really wanted some Chick-fil-A, but we got food at the house, so you know what I'm going to do? Eat the food I got at the house because groceries ain't cheap, and neither is spending money on fast food. So I got this from Aldi's. It's a pepperoni calzone. But before I eat, I want to show you guys what I got because I was able to find some sheets and some other things. Sorry about the list, but I have my retainer in. But let's start it. Let's start. To begin with home goods, I got this reusable tote bag because I do shop at Aldi for my groceries now. And I actually have an Aldi reusable tote bag, but... It's not as big as this one, so now I just have two totes that I can use now when I am grocery shopping there because if you guys don't shop at Aldi, their prices are way lower than Walmart. I wouldn't say way lower, but you know, their prices are nice. So the only downside about it is they don't have any um, plastic bags for your groceries. So you have to, you have to get your own bags. But anyway, 
I got this for my bathroom so I can put some hygiene products on it. I'm so happy that I got this. This was $14.99. And I got some stainless steel wipes from Home Goods. And I also got this resin and bamboo organizer tray because I want to put my dishwasher soap and hand soap on it by the sink. I think this will look really good by it. I'm gonna show you guys once I set everything up. And that's all I got from Home Goods. And then from Ross, cause I went into Ross too. Here's my Ross bag. <laughs> I got a throw pillow because we want to set our bed up finally. Y'all don't know it, but I built my bed like a month ago and I'm just now finishing it off for y'all to see. I've just been waiting to get the perfect sheet set, like, and for a good price. So I got this from Ross. This is the Panama Jack Island Breeze collection, and it's a six-piece queen sheet set. Um, this was $18.99. The prices at Home Goods was like $25, $30 for a queen sheet set. And I'm like, no, I can get them cheaper elsewhere. So that's what I did and that's all I got so I think I want to eat first and then we can set everything up and I'll be back once I get to that point this is what my bed looks like right now and not gonna lie y'all I'm not about to wash the sheets that I just purchased from home goods because actually I don't even have a reason I'm just not about to do it so I'm about to make my bed and show y'all what the bed looks like and then we can put together the other stuff that I got today I'm so happy to have some new sheets because I've been rocking with these black sheets since I redecorated my room yeah I'm just ready for something different something brighter like this orange is definitely a vibe I need to put all this into the washing machine also if you guys are curious about my mattress and my box spring I ordered them both from off of Amazon and then this is the brand mattress that I got it's very comfortable and I think it's a 12 inch mattress I have it linked in my description box in my Amazon storefront <music> So here's the bed in all of its glory. It feels like something's missing. My room is still pretty much empty. Like, I don't have any nightstands or dresser or anything, but she's so cute. I definitely want a throw blanket now. I thought the little balls on the end, I like the boho vibe that it gives me, but it's just not enough. Plus, who doesn't like a little throw blanket? Especially when you want to take a nap, but don't want to get in the bed. I'm going to need it. Next. So, next I need to clean this with some glass cleaner so that I can put it in my bathroom and organize some hygiene stuff. So, this is the corner where I put most of my hygiene products that I use on a daily basis. I feel like it looks very junky and I want it to look a little bit more organized, which is why I got this two-tier vanity organizer that is the proper term so if you guys are interested and don't want to go in store you guys can look this up on amazon i'm excited i'm about to get some glass cleaner i did a restock on my cleaning supplies i go to get my cleaning supplies from dollar tree here's the glass cleaner that i will be using today I remember when I wanted this and every time I went to Home Goods, because I saw it one time, but I didn't buy it because, I don't know. So every time I went, they never had it. And now that they have it, of course, I'm going to get it. 
Because when you see something that you like in Home Goods or TJ Maxx or any store like that, y'all got to make sure y'all get it when y'all see it. Because there's no telling when or if it'll be back. I'm not gonna lie. This is a nice behind moisturizer. However, it is very pricey. Would I buy it again? Probably not. You know, when I was living with my parents, I could do those type of things. But now that I am not living with my parents, I cannot do those types of things. I mean, I probably could, but I'm just more smart with my money now. I have to pay for most of everything. Ooh. I'm going to take some wipes to wipe off my counter before we leave this up here. Y'all better go to Dollar Tree. Dollar 25. I'll show y'all what else I got from Dollar Tree in a second. Because I literally went yesterday. It just gives more space on the countertop. I'm going to put all my skincare products on the top. My cleanser is in my shower. But all this can be up here. I need some more um, cotton rounds. Like what's really going on? And then down here will be miscellaneous items. This was when I got my gums done. I think I recorded that. Mmm, face masks. I still gotta do a video for Teeny. I use the Rihanna face mask more than any of these. I just pulled this out my drawer, but now that I can see it and it's not taking up too much space, I'm going to go ahead and put all these face masks that I couldn't see before up here. Will this fit? And it does. I got this glass container for my cotton rounds from Dollar General. Honestly, I'm not going to put this on the shelf because I'm just going to use it sometime today and throw it away. And this, I'm going to put the face mask in the back and then my prescribed medication in the front because I use that more. And yeah, there's enough room for some perfumes. I only got three, if we're being honest. Let me go ahead and grab my Versace perfume. I'm almost out. She smells so good. One of my favorites. My dad got me this Versace one from... Not Versace. I call this Versace. Do y'all know what this is? Valentino. My dad got me this for Christmas. Versace. This one's really good. These are my car glasses. I don't know what they're doing in the house. And we are done. Doesn't that look better, y'all? It just opens up my countertop way more. I need to clean up, but. Before I forget, let me go ahead and show y'all some of my Dollar Tree cleaning essentials. I used to get a lot of my cleaning supplies from Target, but I just find myself saving more money. These are actually almost on empty, which is why I did go to Dollar Tree yesterday to re-up. 
I got some carpet cleaner. This is to replace the bathroom cleaner that's running low. And then this is to replace the toilet bowl cleaner. And just some regular hand soap, soft soap, so I can refill some things, Ajax. And this is also from Dollar Tree as well. So everything in the frame is from Dollar Tree. This is honestly the only thing that I have left from Target, but, and also the multi-purpose wipes, they do the same thing as the Lysol wipes, like $1.25. My kitchen is a little dirty, but who cares? Like, I need to wash all the counters. Y'all probably can't really tell. So, <gasps> y'all good? Y'all good? All right. I don't know if this is specifically for these hand soaps. However, now I wish I got the bottles to put this up in because now it's just going to look tacky. But I wasn't about to spend another $20 on a hand soap bottle and dish soap bottle. Y'all know what I'm saying? So it's just going to have to look tacky for now. And so I decided I'm going to spend money on household items again. Today was just a little something, something. But yeah, I thought this was cute. I like the black, the bamboo matches, the little fake plants that I have. Those are also from Home Goods, but I got them like a long, long, long time ago. Wipe off my counters. Something about it. It just it just uplifts the kitchen. No? Was it needed? Did I need to buy this or not? How much was this anyway? I think it was so 99. I don't feel like flipping it over. I think it's cute. I think that was it. Oh. Stainless steel. Y'all see my fingerprints? Because the refrigerator does not have door handles. And I don't know if y'all can see my dishwasher, but it's kind of ugly. So I'm going to wipe that down and show y'all the after. Here's what the fridge looks like now. Doesn't that look so good? It's never looked that good before. I used to wipe them down with Lysol wipes, but it would leave streaks. And now it just shines. <laughs> Woo! Sound like that kid off TikTok. Here's what the uh, dishwasher looks like. All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments down below. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give me a like, a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video.